we're at St. Nicholas Abbey on the east coast of Barbados. Oh, look, Taya, pull out your little vlogging thing. Don't be rude. Why are you trying, rude. To, trying to follow people, boy? No. Mm. This is an old plantation house. Oh, look, I found or orchids. Pretty. The sun is already cooking my skin. I can hear it sizzling. Beautifully preserved. All the glam and glamour of yesteryear. I assume this would have been their official dining room here on the plantation. There's another one? Or formal sitting room. What we got here? Oh, it's all birds. Wow, very elaborate. That one looks almost like a kingfisher. But I could be wrong. Uh, you know, no bird man. Yeah, that's made out of shells. You guys see this? The chandelier is made out of shells. Check like the parrot. More shells again there. Some beautiful ones. Oh, the shutters are yours. How is this Yeah. I guess this overlooks the garden. I can see rosemary. You see, you see this garden is below here or put there because back in the 16th century when the house was built and everything, mm -hmm. everything here was used for something other, for some kind of medicine or something like that. Oh, okay, because the one there, that's a bay leaf, right? Yeah, bay leaf, yes. Everything. Looks like ginger over there too. Yes. And everything was everything that planted, he still planted here is what was planted from back then almost still. Oh, okay. And keep on just replenishing all the time. Look at these old school light switches. I wonder how many times they catch a spark on that thing there. Now what kind of contraption is this? A reading desk. With a little light above. Reading and writing. Cushion for your foot. I want everybody to allow me to work on my next cookbook here. <laughs> Do all my writing. <laughs> Look at the old radio. They do look very angry and I don't like that. Yeah. Kind of haunted to be. Yeah. To be honest. It leads to another courtyard area out here. Beautiful grounds, man. There must have been a fascination with birds, the owners, because there's a huge book here, and we have we saw all the other birds, um, the stuffed ones. It's an old grandfather's clock leading up to the upper levels. We got a little. We gotta respect the rope, we can't go up there. But we will work our way down to the back of the house now. Oh, look at the, um, the old police hat there. the size of this tree peep this I hope you guys can see exactly what I mean about massive tree and the canopy is a good I don't know maybe 50 feet across oh look we got some coconuts up there let's zoom in for the coconuts
refusing to cooperate and zoom in, but beautiful plant. Some bamboo over there. I believe in the Southern Caribbean we call that palmist tree, but I guess we'll probably call a palm tree here for some. No coconuts on those ones though. More of that flower I was trying to capture earlier there. No, this is a different one. Some orchids. It's a beautiful one here too. Get a close-up of the um yeah, so this is the actual bay leaf tree, guys. Um, Caribbean bay leaf, that is. Nice shiny leaves. The darker it is, the more intense the flavor. But um, we make rum with it as well, too. Hey, look at that. Podina or Spanish thyme. It's interesting to see it here. In some countries in the Caribbean, we call it... Um, big leaf thyme trying to see what else oh here this is a ginger plant so if i was to break this leaf here and smell it it's um very much gingery and if we look up there that's looks like a tenet or gennep tree So this is the tour of the little kitchen garden, I guess. Let's move to the back and see what else there is. Oh, look at that, a lot of aloe here as well. Let me just zoom in on the aloe so you guys can peep it. This here is the um, official bathroom. So all the bath would happen here. So notice the different types of tubs I guess that's was for the little kids and they go bigger I would assume this device here is what they would use to heat the water for the bats I'm guessing this if I were to guess I would guess this area here a sort of concrete area would be a sort of receptacle for all the water that would come off the roof so during the dry season they would have water stored inside here which would make sense because being the bathhouse being so close and if we move over here this is the toilet room toilet house and it was basically holes that you would sit sort of a bench with these sort of holes let's hope there's no surprise for us in there but so you'd sit do your business but fall in the can there and i guess it was somebody's job to take care of it wow look at that they even have a chandelier in here papa you very elaborate too just love the sort of jungle feel like this look at it and the noise that you're hearing it's um sounds like doves or pigeons could be wrong maybe one of you guys could correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it is they're either doves or pigeons the history of the um, plantation here is very well documented There's some old pictures here but this is the family tree of St. Nicholas Abbey. Over here we have a sort of a, a cafe. Some scenery of, I guess they would be slaves, I think, um, working the fields. But over here, this area here kind of shook me. Um, not the Amerindian artifacts, which is interesting but more so these ledgers um, really shook me up a little bit because here you can see it says slaves men 
over here somewhere I saw boys boys and if I'm not mistaken it has the name of each and if, if it is a ledger it means these are the prices which were paid for them or their value or worth or something I guess it's history and we have to to remember our past to know where we go in but kind of shook me up a little bit I'll be honest Wow, uh, a reading glasses, a sort of a dagger, another dagger, an old gun. Tell me that's some sort of dentistry or something. Hmm. Old currency. Wait, is it? Ah, that's full of rum? I think so. Mama, you are looking like Moby. <laughs> yeah, it's an old cast. So these barrels would have been full of rum. <laughs> this is the rum tasting area. This came back from the other direction, but here we have all the wooden barrels, and I would assume they're full of rum, or this is for Mama Guy purposes at all. I don't know. Early in the morning, I don't want to go More of the jungle setting at the back of the property. I'm sure there's some good hunting in here, you know. I used to hunt as a young boy, so. Yeah, we ate everything we hunt, we caught though, so. It's, you know, killing animals for no reason. Ended up in the pot. Gotta love the old school scale. And I guess. has given me some light but this is the weight measurement would go here this is what you would use to balance it and whatever you were weighing would go into this container on the top here <laughs> well this is where he said the movie is gonna be this is the church on compound here I go ahead. What is that? Worcester? Uh, horses. The bridle or whatever you call it. So over here guys, I think if you guys following me on Instagram, you would have seen me post some image, well, an image of the local avocado. And here, we have some on the tree. So there's a tiny one. One that's still pretty too young to pick, but I'm guessing in about a month's time this would be good to pick. And just above these cars, this is a breadfruit tree. Um, let me see if I can get a close up of some breadfruit to show you guys. If you're not familiar with breadfruit, yeah, there we go. Let's zoom in a bit. That uh, there, boy, one of my favorite Caribbean ingredients to use, breadfruit. Up here we've got a mango tree with some mangoes. They're not ready to pick yet, but so if I could zoom in and show you guys a mango. It's still green, not ready for harvesting yet. If I zoom back down here, 
some beautiful flowers but if I'm not mistaken this plant here this sort of fan shaped plant it's called a traveler's palm and when they get bigger they almost seem as if they're waving goodbye to you that one said hi so clearly yeah he's busy eating now we have some lettuce there the hey are what's up oh yeah turtles down there I don't know if you guys could see it hi. behind the wire he touched the leaf fit. between the wire and his foot. Oh, there's that goes. Yeah. Hi. Here we have some water lilies. I'm just waiting for an alligator or something to just jump out of this water, but such a pretty flower. Um, during the morning, in the morning time, they open up very big, and the later it gets during the night, into night time, they close up. How do I know? I had some growing up as a kid in our backyard. My brother and I used to have tropical fish in many tanks. Oh yeah? I guess this is where it all happens. Check the old tractor. Nah man, it's daytime. Camera. We've got the ladies posing on the people tractor. This must be the mechanical room because there's a lot of mechanical stuff here. Bearings and whatnot, but a lot of storage for barrels for the rum. Over here. Bats oh, there is bats. Here. <laughs> oh, no, I, bet. I don't know what sort they are though. It's a big gear wheel here. So the cane would be fed down this chute into here, where it would be crushed into juice. I guess it would pour out over there. Looks like the remnants of an old windmill or something. Probably doing the selfie game. Would this have been a windmill? Oh, okay. On the island, windmills. This is where all the distillation distillation happens here at St. Nicholas Abbey. But I would think so, unless it's just a makeshift something for us to to take a look at. But bottles of cast of rum over there. Some beakers. We go around this way. It starts off in, at ninety-two percent. So one proof. And then they boil it down to, or they dilute it to 65%. And uh, in the barrels. I guess that's when they blend it too. 